What's going on guys, VP back with another Game Case Arcades video and today we are discussing Raspberry Pi compared to a Pandora's Box Arcade PCB. Now I did a whole video of uh, best arcade builds of 2018, but of course customers still ask me what's the difference between a Pandora's Box and the Raspberry Pi 16,000 games. First things first is the amount of games. Pandora's Box, the current one that I personally use is a 5S. They did make a 6, but the one that I usually use is a 5S. This has 1,299 games in it, whereas the Raspberry Pi Hyper Pi build has 16,000 games. That's number one is the amount of games. What does that mean? Raspberry Pi has different games and also different systems. Again, we're talking about Super Nintendo, we're talking about the arcade, we're talking about Sega Genesis, NES, Game Boys, the Game Boy Advance. It's got many consoles, whereas the Pandora's box only has arcade. Only arcade. You're not gonna find Mario Kart on a Pandora's box. You're not gonna find, um, I don't know, Mario Party or uh, Super Mario Sunshine on this or Mario Odyssey. You're not gonna find that here. So again, that's the major difference. It's number one, the amount of games, and number two, the systems that's in it. Again, Raspberry Pi, 16,000 games. That's consoles, arcade, everything. Whereas your Pandora's box, 5S, only has arcade. Now what does it mean by arcade though? Pandora's box does not have Cruising World, it doesn't have NBA Jam, it doesn't have Tekken. It's got the arcade games, the really earlier, um, I would say, era of arcade, meaning your six buttons, your six button layout controllers will work, but it won't play high intensity like graphic games, such as NBA Jam, NFL Blitz, uh, you won't find Cruising World on this, that's a driving game. Uh, you won't find like shooting games on this. It's a very bare minimum Pandora's box. Again, we're talking about regular arcade classics, the ones that were just joysticks and buttons, but again, the ones that were less reliable on graphics and RAM and speed on a PCB board. Again, very simple, you know, you'll play, it'll play Metal Slug, it'll play most of the earlier classics that a lot of people know. It doesn't have like random games that you don't know. Yes, this will play Dig Dug, it'll play Pac-Man, it'll play Galaga, it'll play Street Fighter, it'll play Rampage, like, it'll play that. Actually, I'm not sure if that has a Rampage. I'm gonna have to actually check that under Pandora's box. I do have a list, these do come from China, um, so I do have a game list that usually you'll find it. Um, might have to second guess me on that Rampage comment I just made, but again, Try to think of your earliest stuff, 1945, it's going down the list. It's got most of like your Neo Geo classics, uh, King of Fighters. It's all mostly there. You're not gonna find any trackball games, you're not gonna find the bowling games, you're not gonna find Golden Tea on this. Again, that's the biggest difference. The other difference you could look at is kind of like the interface. Take a look at it. I know right now I do have this kind of makeshift. Uh, we just did the Can A Pandora's box fit inside the control panel, which I just tested it, it does fit, and instead of using the actual arcade control panel, I actually wired up a power brick, and it does work. We're gonna put that control panel as a Pandora's box. So, with that, I kinda just made it together. I didn't even connect the joysticks, I didn't connect the controllers, but the main thing is to kinda see the interface on this. If you're looking for a coin-operated system, your Pandora's box is the easiest way to go. That right now, this is set to insert coins. You have to insert the coins to play the game. So we do have a customer that wants, so we do have a customer that wants to make a control panel coin operated for a staff. So that's the best option for a Pandora's box. I could make the HyperPi coin operated. It's a little bit on the tedious end because it's kind of like unlocking the controller. It's a whole different animal. Again, if you're looking for a coin operated system, the Pandora's box is the easiest way to go. Again, for you right now, if I had the buttons like connected, you can't select anything right now. It's going through every five seconds, it switches the game as I'm talking. It'll switch through that. Um, whereas right now, like the Raspberry Pi, I could actually activate it, I could switch the games, I could switch the consoles, I could go into it and all that. So for the Pandora's box, for you to move it, unless you set it to free play, the joysticks won't work at all until you put that quarter in. Once you play on the Pandora's box, once you go into a game, uh, the game will load, you'll play it, it'll automatically add an extra credit. Once the game is over, it goes into the regular stock arcade screen. So like for Street Fighter, it would actually load up in the Street Fighter phase where it's like the music and the Street Fighters and the street kind of cutscene. Um, after three minutes, the Pandora's box will exit on its own back to the screen. You could also set it up to not exit. You could set it to just play one game 
and nobody can go into the menu you could do that too i do that a couple of times for you know arcades that are just set with one game so if i'm going to do street fighter 2 i'll set the pandora's box to only play street fighter 2 you can't exit out of the menu i mean again those are really the only main differences is the amount of games number one the systems that it runs again pandora's box only at well we'll do a recap but again it's the amount of games it's the amount of systems and it's also about if you wanted to make money or not. Those are the real three major things. Again, the other thing as far as, far as aesthetic look to it and the screens and the, you know, the screensavers, that's your screensaver, whereas your Raspberry Pi is now going into, I went into a wheel right now, I'm in a console wheel for the Atari, and it's actually showing off the games inside that Atari wheel. Um, if I go back into the home screen, it'll show off the games of the systems, the consoles. So again, two different animals, one is cheaper than the other one um you know those are the major differences uh again just to recap your first thing is the amount of games you got 12.99 compared to 16,000. the consoles this will play many consoles this will only play arcades and if you're looking to put insert coins and make money off of it your pandora's box is the easiest way to go the only last difference really to throw out there is the pricing compared to the bar tops as far as anything the control panel or anything Whenever you do it, the Pandora's box personally cost me about a hundred dollars less. I would say a hundred to one twenty less um, than the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi you have to get a Zinmo controller and you got to get the USBs and there's a whole more stuff to the Raspberry Pi than to the arcade PCBs. Arcade PCB basically you just need the buttons, the wire, the JAMA harness is right there. Well, you don't see it, but the JAMA harness is connected to it. The JAMA harness has everything inside of it, and that communicates to the buttons and all that. So. I mean, again, as far as price difference, if you did a bar top with just the Pandora's box, I would sell it to you for 600. If you did the bar top with the Raspberry Pi, you're looking at 850. Um, as far as the control panel, uh, I believe we're selling the control panel with the Pandora's box for 500, with the Raspberry Pi was 750. So, you know, it is a $200 difference, 250. Um, but again, that's really going into the hardware and the pieces to it. This is gonna conclude another Game Case Arcades video. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions. I ask, I answer all, I answer all the questions that are asked on the comment section. Apparently, I have to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll be making a lot more videos. There's a lot. I have a day off. You'll probably see me wearing the same T-shirt in the next three videos. That's because we, I'm just banging out videos, most requested videos. So, again, that concludes another video. Vic BP Game Case Arcades.